Hey, Sergeant Danny Esselton here, Sergeant Dan, a.k.a. Wolfscar. Um, running for president in 2024. Let's see if I can come up with any new things that uh, I could do as president. Hmm, let's see here. How about, now this is just me spitballing, but how about every convicted child molester, pedophile, right? How about we, uh, we arrest them and uh, give them the death penalty? And from here on out, once I'm uh, president, you know, we'll take care of uh, the pedophiles. Hmm. Huh, you know what? How about we have a police force that is entirely for uh, policing the police, right? Hmm. A, uh, a way to keep those who serve and protect in line, right? I mean, I've already covered this before, like, uh, giving good police officers a bonus every time that they rat out a uh, bad police officer with 5000 to $10,000. Hmm. Well, let's see if we can come up with anything else. Uh, how about we... Uh, we rewrite the history books, right? We actually get documented, you know, historians and whatnot to fill in all the blanks, you know? Giving both sides to every fucking story, you know? Giving the kids something to really learn about instead of, you know, the winners of history get to write, you know, the story. I don't know. I think truth is a little bit more, you know important than pride. <laughs> um, I've said this before, but, uh, yeah. Uh, once I'm president, I will make it so that internet is completely and utterly free and everyone ha will have access to it. It will be one of the inalienable rights along with, uh, free energy, which will be green energy. All right. Um, Let's see, what else could we do? How about, I mean, okay, here's another thing I've said. Uh, we will disband all the colleges and universities and whatnot, and we'll have every uh, technical skill and, uh, you know, anything that you could learn ever, right? Right? free online and all you have to do is study for however long it takes and then take a test get the get the degree and uh yeah and you know what else i'm crazy and uh i, I i'm i'm not afraid to push the push the fucking bar up so not only will we disband colleges right but how about we make all the colleges refund every single student's, you know, student loans or whatever? <laughs> yeah, make them give back the money that they took. Because honestly, knowledge should be free. You know what, uh, key to the shitty side of the family, once I said that, uh, once I said that I would enforce the universal basic income of $1,000 a month, right, and whatnot, uh, and also raising the minimum wage to $20 an hour, you know, the only thing there said was, uh, well, what about food stamps, right? I don't know. It, if you can't survive on a thousand dollars a month and working for a minimum wage of twenty dollars an hour, you might be living above your means. But whatever, right? <sighs> Come on.
Come here, baby girl. Easy. Easy. Hmm. Uh, I've already said that uh, I will make anybody who calls, anybody who makes a racist call to the police, right? If, if a person of another color than you is not doing anything at all, just the example, if a black man is walking down his fucking neighborhood, right, and the police are called on him, then I will, I will make it so that the person who called will go to federal prison for life. It's that fucking simple. These fucking racists and assholes and whatnot, it, it's way overdue, you know? And the only way to fucking get to, the, get to the, these people to understand that we are all human and that we are all, you know, just trying to make the best life on this Earth? I don't know, man. <sighs> well, remember, uh, the news medias are not going to cover uh, my story or my run for presidency, but you better believe that if and when I become president, they're going to have a lot of shit to say about me. But believe me, uh, I'm never going to fucking have anything fucking scripted or anything like that. So, if you got something you want to say, say it directly to me and I'll, I'll fucking see if it see if it's something that I think that really needs to be, you know, passed. You know, these fucking people who said, "Oh, we're going to make America great again," you know? Again? Do you know how, you know, the track record has been? Do you know how shitty the fucking government has been for some people? <sighs> I don't know, man. I hope to bring in a, a new, a new age of America, a rebirth, if you will, you know? Something that, uh, something that, you know, strives on unity. And just like my campaign model, motto, uniting the American dream. Now I'm going to try to, uh, call, you know, probably a uh, custom ink and see if, uh, they will See if they will, uh, I don't know, sell t-shirts that I design and whatnot so that you guys can, you know, represent. Um, yeah. What else could I do? Making all of America run on green energy. Giving the money back to the people. Giving the people the power to control their state. Giving the people the power to, you know, talk with me directly you know, to, to make changes to America. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look at my other videos. <laughs> um, hmm. I guess we could also crack down on big pharmaceuticals, you know? And, uh, make them produce, you know, the medicine and whatnot for a, for a moderate price, not, not very much profit at all for them, right? 
but making it so that, I don't know, people can afford medication. I mean, why should a five, $5 pill cost you $2,700, right? I don't know. It just seems ridiculous. Uh, and you know what else I've heard? I've heard that big companies, right? Uh, they, they send their money and whatnot to out of country banks so they don't, so that they don't have to pay taxes on it. Why don't we make a penalty for that? I don't know. What do you think? What do you think, Evie? I know you're not a service animal, but... You, you help me a lot. So maybe we could make it easier for people who, you know, who have service animals and, uh, whatnot. Hell, even, uh, another thing I've fucking heard is that service animals who, you know, are sent overseas or whatnot, the, uh, the soldiers, right? have to pay on their own to get their service animals home. I just think that's bullshit. <sighs> yeah. I don't know. But I promise you, everything that I have said, you know, in all these YouTube videos, in all of my TikToks, which you're watching this, so YouTube, Danny Usselton, D-A-N-N-Y space U-S-E-L-T-O-N, and uh, my TikTok is at S-G-T-D-A-N. W O L F S C A R. Um, well, man, I, I can't think of anything right now. So, uh, so yeah, like I've always said, like, comment, subscribe, you know, share with your friends, share with your enemies, Share with everybody, you know, make all of 328.2 million Americans know who I am, know where I stand. I am an independent candidate for the presidential election 2024. Sergeant Dan, your personal comrade in the fight. Um, I don't know, this... Hmm. You know what else? How about this? How about we, uh, now th this is something that I'm going to do. I'm about to, uh, buy a revolver just because I think they're cool and, uh, whatnot. But, uh, how about we, uh, make it so that every American has an easier time of buying a firearm. Every American has a firearm, you know, has a conceal and carry, and, uh, yeah. You know what else? Why don't we promote, instead of, you know, regular bullets that kill people, why don't we, uh, you know, have, you know, a, uh, a mass, uh, production of rubber bullets. Yeah, it might not kill them, but they'll get the fucking message if they've crossed the line, you know?
Well, much love, everyone. Sergeant Dan for President 2024, uniting the American dream.